Yes, now let's come back and do the second type of classification that is classification on, in, uh, based on the interaction between dispersed phase and dispersion medium. Earlier what did we say based on the particles or uh, the solid liquid phase or the physical state we have learned. Now let us see how, how are they interacting <coughs> between these two. So based on this you have two types to study. One is your lyophilic, lyophilic sol and lyophobic sol these two are the things it's simple it is so the most important thing is when when it is asked right suppose if it is asked for three marks we will not ask you for three marks but if it is asked for three marks minimum of four points should be written so important thing you have to remember is <coughs> between lyophilic and lyophobic remember only one word what is that keyword okay i'll just give you a clue this is important in the exam remember this in go that is i r s okay it is not indian railway services but let us see what it is i r s okay i'll put that i and come back to that so lyophilic first you're going to start with this then here only you'll be getting half mark so lyophilic philic means what water the solvent loving water loving or solvent loving salts so philic means water loving so let's write water or solvent your wish water loving salt okay solid and liquid so water loving or solvent loving here phobic means phobia fear of that particular salt so <coughs> water rippling salt water rippling or water hating if you want to write water hating because you are loving you could also write water hating so this is over basic thing half mark now please apply this now see here i i said apply i i stands for intrinsic here instead of i the opposite is extrinsic extrinsic opposite done let us underline now give some space and write the second one r stands for reversible reversible sol opposite of reversible is irreversible irreversible sol third one s stands for stability it is stability and here opposite of stability is it is unstable Right, now let's come back and learn one after the other now when i speak about intrinsic intrinsic is nothing when i take the dispersed phase when i take a dispersed medium for example starch then i have taken starch powder i've taken a china dish i've mixed up thoroughly with water then i kept it in, kept the beaker for boiling then gradually i heated it by stirring with a glass rod finally i cooled it i filtered it with the filter paper and allowed it to cool and collected the starch soil isn't it direct mixing of uh, both the dispersed phase and dispersion medium that is nothing but intrinsic intrinsic because it can be prepared by direct mixing by direct mixing of dispersed phase dp and dispersion medium that's why it is intrinsic now extrinsic means here lyophobic example of ferric hydroxide so ferric hydroxide can't be prepared directly as we have done this like starch we have indirect methods which i'll be teaching you later preparation methods of lyophobic salts so extrinsic means cannot be prepared directly right but in can have has to be has to has to follow okay has to follow methods methods to prepare a lyophobic salt okay i'll tell you what are the methods also so i have to pre practically prepare it done reversible salt yes what did i say I, we can easily reversible say now what can i do i have already mixed up the starch salt together i've got a lump how can i separate them they can be separated by evaporation okay done 
once i separate my evaporation i have to remix how can i remix i can simply take them and remix together to form a salt that is your lyophilic salt and reconstituted what did i write what is reconstituted reconstituted means reforming first i separated my evaporation then i reconstituted i mixed up together and reconstituted by remixing what should i mix both remixing both dispersed phase and dispersion medium that's why they are called reversible salts but when i come to your lyophobic salts they are irreversible in nature irreversible in nature okay i have already written irreversible i can't uh, separate them once formed i can't separate them back like this now when i have to come to stability lyophilic salts are highly stable highly stable when i come back to uh, lyophobic salts they are as i have written less stable and now here because they are highly stable i can't uh, like they they will not coagulate only they will not form precipitate we have already studied what is coagulation isn't it so they are very stable enough right with the charges and hence i can't easily coagulate them hence cannot coagulate okay now this is less stable i said so i can easily coagulate done so because this is less stable it can be easily coagulated how can i coagulate them how can i coagulate them i can coagulate or precipitate them now when i add an electrolyte we have already studied isn't it how do i add electrolyte how is it gaining charge so i can write they can be easily coagulated by adding electrolytes of opposite charges done now after once it once you add i have to stabilize that particular coagulated product isn't it then you add stabilizing agents also and stabilized by stabilizing agents that's it now how many points did i write i have written three points isn't it now let us write the fourth point the fourth point would be your example so for lyophilic what are the examples i don't have place here so okay let me write here only fourth uh, this is starch example are starch rubber gums gelatin yes done now when i have to come back to lyophobic salts best example which you did it in the lab that is ferric hydroxide ferric hydroxide that's it this is how you are going to write so i have explained everything remember this word whenever um, lyophilic and lyophobic is given to you the word which you have to remember is irs so indian railway services if you wish irs i stands for intrinsic intrinsic opposite is extrinsic reversible opposite is irreversible Stable opposite is unstable. Remember one example and go.